Mark. Morning, Mark. How are you, Steve? I'm well. It's Good. Cr- it's Christmas time. It is Christmas time. It's not technically Christmas. Right. But it's Advent season. Right. Which, along with the Christmas season and Epiphany, makes up what we call Christmas time. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about this time, this particular part of Christmas time. What are we? How many days out from Christmas itself? Yeah, like seven or something. Yeah. Like seven. It's pretty close. Um, we're looking at Lutheran Service Book 357, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Mm-hmm. And in the ancient church, we had these things called O Antiphons. And they were antiphons that were sung during the last seven days of Advent during the Vesper service. So at nighttime, you'd get together in the, you know, in the monastery or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> sure, 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 and cathedral. get together and, and the, these would be the, the antiphons that would be sung. They would be chanted. People used to go to church a lot more back in the day. You know, you just, we kind of take it easy on yeah, each other like these days. More than me. Right? <laughs> Jeez, yeah. um, but the O antiphons are named O antiphons because they all begin with the letter O, as we say, O come, O come. And so maybe you yeah. can tell us a little bit about why. Well, sure, that's not O-H, O-H, right? It's not. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, not, it's <laughs> not O come, like, in a, like an exclamatory. It's evocative. Uh, so it's a holdover from, from Greek, and maybe they use this in, in Old English too, but it's, mm-hmm. it's basically when you're addressing someone. Um, and and it's, it's when you're addressing them very formally, probably because they're like, you know, a higher station than you, like a mm. king. So obviously this is because we're addressing God with these. Right. That there would be a, um, an O uh, that's well, written that way. And specifically Christ as he is referred to in Isaiah. You know, if you look at all seven of these verses, right? They're, they're, and all, of the, all seven of the antiphons, they all have a different name f- referring to... Yeah, are these Prince. all prophecies out of Isaiah? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. I'm pretty That's sure. Right. Um, so, so if this starts with an O, it means it's a prayer. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just like we would have a prayer of the day or a collect of the day, right? That, that always has the same structure. It always reveres God in some sort of way, and then it asks God to do something, and then it ends with the, um, for you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit whatever that's called. Yeah, not just Drawing Jesus, plan. his yeah, name. exactly. Right. So you yeah. ask for this in, in Jesus' name. So it's a similar structure. Now it's interesting because when you begin a prayer this way with an, with an O, uh, one of the things that you're doing is basically uh, asking God, um, so, so this has kind of come over to the English. Uh, what is a prayer? A prayer is when you're, you're opening up your soul, right? I mean, I, I, could, I could do that to my wife or I could do that to anybody and it would be very prayerful. Uh, but generally we say, you know, you have one soulmate. Well, these days everyone wants to make everyone their soulmate. <laughs> but it used to be, you, you know, your soulmate was God. And so you would open your soul to him. And so that gives a kind of deep significance to these words. You're not just supposed to sing these as information. Uh, this is sort of an emotional thing uh, that we're doing when we sing or say these, these O antiphons and when we mm-hmm. sing this song, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. And the setting for this is very deeply emotional for me. I've always thought that the, the way this tune is written right. is really, really evocative. Kind of the summation of Advent in general. I think, mm. you know, Advent, it, it leads up to Christmas, which all of a, most of us have, you know, a very joyful memory of. At Christmas being an exciting time. Definitely an emotional memory, even if it's not joyful. Oh, for it's sure. It's always emotional. For sure. But it, it, the mystery of Advent, I think, is, is something that it, it, the church really tries to do a good job of making sure that we preserve. Because leading up to Christ's birth is not just the story of Jesus coming to the manger in Bethlehem and, you know, yada, yada, yada. It's also of the second coming. And so that's why I think. We, we do such a, uh, a great job of making sure that we make a big deal about how mysterious this is and how incredible it is. Yeah, we have to because it really is transcendent. Um, it's not just a matter of uh, what we have to do. It, there's really this emotional appeal, you know, Christ, come now. Uh, we need you in a way that's deeper than what we know how to understand or, or fix on our own, you know, with our own brains and, and hands. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So. so Tell me about these antiphons. So the antiphons, real quick, uh, there are seven of them. They're actually out of order. If you look on the page in the hymnal, 357, on the facing page, you've got a list of the great O antiphons, and they're listed by date. So December 17th is the first one. But interestingly, if you compare them with the hymn, you'll notice that 
they actually start with verse 2. So, O wisdom proceeding from the mouth of the Most High. Yeah, o come, and then o come you look, wisdom. yeah, if you look at the second verse wisdom. of the hymn, O come thou wisdom from on high. So, they're actually a little out of order. And O come, O come, Emmanuel, the first verse of the hymn is actually the last one on December 23rd that we get to sing, which mm. we were just talking about that a minute ago, thinking about it, and it was like, you know, it makes sense. You know, you kind of want the, uh, the theme of the hymn to be sort of the last thing that you that you think about. Um, it's more, almost like a refrain, you know, of a hymn, right? Yeah, so liturgically, where you would arrive mm -hmm. when you said these traditionally right. would be with Emmanuel, yeah. which means God, God with, with us. us. Uh, but, you know, when we sing the hymn, we sort of fronted that because, you know, we like the refrain to be first and we want to know what we're singing and that's just how you do a song, right? Right. But isn't that interesting? Um, as you, as you proceed through this the way that it was originally written, mm -hmm. you start off saying, boy, wisdom, we need wisdom from God. And then you say, you know what, we need, um, we need God's power here, mm -hmm. Adonai, right? Um, we need just the root of Jesse. We need, we need that uh, thing that David had, that our ancestors had. We need that again. We need those glory days, those golden days. Uh, we need the key. You know, we, we need, we need mm -hmm. sunrise, we need, uh, we need a king. Yeah. And then where do you add all the, if you put all those things together, right? Because all of a sudden what you're asking for really is a whole bunch of stuff from God. Right. And God responds not with a whole bunch of stuff, but he responds with himself. Hmm. And that's the great joy of Christmas, right? We'll come, we'll call Emmanuel. And what the prophet ultimately in Isaiah leads us to understand, Isaiah being sort of the fifth gospel, right? The hmm. Old Testament gospel. Hmm is that God himself is coming. And that's what happens this Christmas. Yeah, so it's a wonderful, wonderful thing to look forward to. And we look forward to celebrating it with you, hopefully. Uh, don't forget to check out our channel. Uh, there's some information about upcoming worship services. Uh, look at our website if you have questions about which service you want to go to. There's a service for uh, families. There's an evening candlelight service. There's also a morning service, so if driving at night isn't your thing, there you go. You can it's join us at Man Man's service, old traditional yeah. service, and that's where we'll be seeing in this one, right? It'll come, come Emmanuel. That's right, yeah. So we yeah. look forward to having you joining us. So Very good. have a blessed Christmas, and don't forget to rejoice.